Welcome back. It has been a second. Right now we're getting into summer and that means that my day job is getting insanely busy. I'm basically working all the time. So content over the next couple of months might be a little less consistent than it normally is. I'm gonna do my best. But today I've got a couple of cool things to look at from RZE. Now RZE is a primarily watch brand. They make fantastic watches from what I tell. I have yet to pick one up, but uh, Huey over at RZE, if you're watching this, you're the man, sent over a couple of things for me to take a look at. So let's look at some stuff. Now the first thing that was in the, the package from, from RZE is this guy. Now this is the RZE black comb pouch. Now if we take a look here, you have a decent sized Velcro paneling on the front here. Got the RZE, a Riot, and another RZE. They just teamed up with Project Forest. Uh, really cool project they're running. Uh, if you wanna go take a look at that, I'll leave a link down to RZE in the description. So go check out what they're doing, um, some cool stuff. But the pouch itself is a pretty standard admin size type pouch. You have a zipper on the back and then a main compartment all in the middle. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what I've got loaded in here. In the back, you have, well I have a, future me zoom in on this, a little baby Yoda Star Wars coin. I like Star Wars, so I've got a coin. And then if we open up, that's all I have in the back. If we open up the middle, we are greeted with this right here. I have my camo awesome Hank and then the rest of the goods. So starting from left to right, I've got my knife in here, which is the ProTec Malibu carry commission exclusive. Love this knife one of my all time favorites to carry and one of the best button locks there is on the market. If you have a different button lock that you think is better than the Malibu, let me know in the comments. But the flashlight I've got in here is the Titanium i3T by Olight. One of the best AAA size flashlights for the money. Sub 50 bucks, can't beat that one. Then the pen is one that I have been absolutely crushing on over the last while. And that's the Q3D uh, swift click pen and moving on to the back here is a couple of first aid things I've got uh, band-aids uh, they are welly brand if you have not tried any welly band-aids they are by far the best band-aids on the planet they stick for days I get scrapes and cuts on my hands just by nature of my job and through you know, working in 130, 140 degree weather in the attics here, those stay on my skin for days on end. I stand by Welly, um, and especially having kids, bumps, scrapes, bruises, all the, the things that come with having a kid, band-aids are always on me. And then a couple of like antiseptic and other things in here. Moving on to the right side, I have my little cable kit from Lever Gear. It's a lesser known brand that they make really cool stuff, especially that cable kit. It's literally about an inch and a half, two inch cable. Most of the time when you're charging on the go, that's all you need. I don't need a six foot cable if I'm just using a little power bank in my pocket or in a bag. I love that thing. That thing is the best. And then I, my pry bar is the Big Idea Design EDC pry. And then in the back, I always do have a notebook on me. This is more of like a field book brand, uh, just a cheap generic Amazon brand. Paper's paper, I'm not picky. But that's the loadout I've been carrying in, in this over the last week, and I love this pouch. It's solid, it almost has like a faux leather feel to it. I don't know, it's just really nice. And I think these go for $40 on RZE's website. Yeah, $39 on RZE's website for a solid, solid pouch. So if you're in the market for an EDC pouch, 
check out RZE. Now the next thing, well the last thing that was in the package is one that I'm the more excited of the two words. The next thing is probably my favorite out of the two items that was sent to me. And this little guy, and I mean little, is this. This is the hex edge tie from RZE. And this is a tiny, tiny little knife. So this is what they're calling their micro knife. And it features a grade five titanium handle, uh, ball bearings on the pivot, and a D2 titanium coated blade. Now this is a frame lock. And as I said, it's running on ceramic bearings. So uh, being that it weighs absolutely nothing, uh, the action does take a little bit to get used to. But this thing is sweet. Little minute little mini flipper tab on the back for easy deployment. And this thing is sharp out of the box. Like if I take this, this thing cuts for days. That was me. There's not a lot of blade here to work with, but the, the blade that is here is slicey. Um, yeah, not a lot to talk about here, but for $80, you are getting a titanium frame lock, little tiny flipper knife, massive deep carry pocket clip that's almost as big as the knife itself. And to give, as I drop it and slice my foot open, to give some perspective. Okay, this is the smallest knife in my collection right here, up to this point. This is the Civivi Baby Banter. And most of us, this is probably the smallest knife that most of us own. Choked back, three finger grip. Incorporating the forward finger choil, full grip. But this thing is small. And after handling the Hex Edge by RZE, and you compare it to the baby banter. Let's just some, get some good light here. There's about a full, probably about a half inch difference in the handle. Maybe, maybe that's even an inch. I honestly, I would call that an inch. And then let's open up both of these. And there's your perspective right there. The hex edge titanium from RZE makes the baby banter look massive, massive. And it, after handling it, the baby banter feels massive. I mean, this is at best, at best, a three finger grip knife. You're not gonna be doing heavy lifting with this knife. What this knife is insanely great at is package opening, which is, let's be honest, about 99% of what we do as knife people anyway. It's the only thing you'll need more blade than this for on a day-to-day -day task is food prep. You know, cutting up, cutting fruit, cutting things of that nature. That's the only time you're gonna need more than this right here. But this thing is sick. I've been using this at work the last week. And so far, if we zoom in, which let's, let's move this light. Future me, zoom in on this please. Um, it's holding up really well. There's some snail trailing up at the top here and that's about it, maybe on the clip, but can I reverse flick it? I absolutely can. I am 100% can reverse flick. Can I? Thumb flick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the RZE Hex Edge tie is 100% an EDC-able knife. And especially with an incorporated lanyard hole, 
throw a lanyard on there, throw a bead, and with your fingers, like I said, I got one, two in this little divot, and three on the back end. And if I had a lanyard here, my pinky would wrap around that lanyard, and man, I'm ready to go to town. Plus this like sheep's foot sort of blade right here, money for package opening, precise cuts, and if you wanted to get like real up on there, nice little finger placement for like package opening cuts. This thing is sweet. I love this thing. And another thing I was noticing with the hex edge tie is there is no uh, stop pin. The stop pin is incorporated onto the blade itself. Um, this is just like an overview. So this isn't like a full review, but I will do a full breakdown of this knife showing the internals of how that stop pin works. Cause it is honestly pretty cool. Um, so I look forward to that, but this is um, just the stuff that RZE sent over. So pouch, knife, little hex edge tie patch right there to match. And yeah, I'll leave RZE, I'll leave the link for RZE down below in the description. So if you like anything in this video, you wanna check them out, feel free to. Um, if you pick anything up in the order description, let Huey know, let RZE know that I sent you over there. I don't have a discount code, but if you, if you go there from this video, let them know that I sent you over there and help your boy get a watch from them. So if you made it this far in the video, leave a, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. It's the best way to help me out here and the, the best way that I can keep making these videos. So with all that said, till next time, peace.